We'll be getting started in just a little while, everybody. Um, we'll be getting started around hopefully the four minute mark. So until that time, as per usual, you know, get ourselves prepared and um, we'll get into the game real soon, hopefully. I don't really know like the like the good mount like the good volume quality for the music. And thank you stream elements for doing your part in the chat and also for Siri Lot to disable the email and sub only. I will say at least like um you know everything started everything went smoothly as far as like you know whenever I hit the live stream button <coughs> I wish I could really I, I wish I could really use my other headset but even though I get even though like it's technically based around the same, like, the Stealth Hornet headset that I got, I think it, apparently it's a little bit different than, um, it's a little bit different than the previous version because I think, like, that one was made for PC and the one I have is made for, a uh, console, like, like Xbox or something. Hopefully the mu hopefully the, like the music doesn't fucking have like a stuck on loop or something in this playthrough. You know, like, like, like hopefully it doesn't do the situation that ha like that ha that happens uh, like whenever I try to play Dark Force Star Wars Dark Forces um, with with the with the Force Source board and everything. I mean. I still don't know what the hell is going on. I still don't know what to do with that, but it is what it is. I guess. I guess. I guess it's like a like a like a recording type of issue. <coughs> All right. I'll probably turn off music and stuff a little bit in a little bit, but it just passed the four minute mark now, so. Since so Dream Elements has done its thing, I'm going to do my thing, which is my intro, so... hey oh my fellow Rumble Maniacs, it's Mr. Rumble Roses here, and welcome to a special little installment of Bloodborne. But, it is not the Bloodborne of the PS4, it is the PSX Bloodborne. Also known as the Bloodborne PSX D-Make. Now... This get, now this is a fan game that got recently released not too long ago, and basically it is a fan game that allows you allows you to kind of experience what uh, <coughs> what the Bloodborne game would be like on the classic PlayStation One or PSX for short, and um, it was it was almost it was it almost went through like hell and I almost had to go through like hell and back. Just to try and get this, uh, just to try and like get this game, you know, like situated and everything. Cause like for one, uh, on the day on the day that it on the day that it got released and everything, um, it was pretty much like version 1.0. And the one thing that was always annoying about, and the one thing that was annoying about the, the like the first release version, 
is that the game always went in full screen, but it was always like, but but it was it was never centered, like like it would be like in full screen and everything, and it would not be centered, so you couldn't be able to really see like everything that went on. And I also think that like there was some issue with like the option settings, because I think because I think, and I say this in like the finger quotes, but like I think that um. There was kind of like a little bit of a new sheet to where you couldn't be able to do much with because if you if you tried to do something, I think like kind of well, just crash your game or something. But since that release, there's been a few updates and new versions and stuff like that. And as you can probably see at the bottom right corner of the uh, of the of the screen or game or whatever, um, I am currently using the version 1.04. So, hopefully, you know, everything goes well. I, I will say that, like, I am, I am a little bit nervous, but I'm also kind of, like, I'm also kind of, like, stoked as well. Now, you might be wondering, like, why exactly are you nervous for Rumble? Well, mainly because I don't know what to expect with this game. I mean, I, I mean, like, not in the way of, like, of what the game's going to throw at me or whatever, but I guess, like, it's kind of like a situation of, how the game is going to how the game is going to treat me with on my computer while I'm trying to live stream this cuz I tried to do a, I because like after I managed to figure out like the whole situation of um cuz whenever whenever I whenever I managed to figure out the whole situation of getting like the window getting a game getting getting the game in window mode and you know and all that all that shit um the one thing I was kind of want, I've been try, I've been testing out a little bit is to see if this game uh, plays nicely with uh, my action streaming software stuff. And I did a little bit of a recording, like a like a uh, off-screen recording type of thing. I didn't use my I didn't use my mic or anything, but I did a little bit of a uh, like a like a regular, regular video testing, and everything seemed to work out pretty good. So I'm hoping, and I'm hoping, and I'm hoping and praying. That uh, you know this game treats me nicely uh, when I'm trying to stream this because I would love to be able to try and actually you know probably do like a few streams of this of this uh, game or whatever. So yeah. I'm gonna probably put it on. I'm, I'm probably gonna put the music volume on 20 for right now. Um, if anyone in chat if. If if the music needs if the, if I have to boost the music up just a little bit more I might, but yeah. So without further ado, let's hit new game and see what's 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 gonna uh, wait to give us some store. Oh yeah, pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. <coughs> I remember this part. So yeah, you know we get that little introduction from what's his name, and I I can't remember I can't remember his name for the life of me off the top of my head because I it, even though like I've even though like I've watched Bloodborne streams mostly from one of my friends and all that I I don't really know like every single character's names here and there, <laughs> but yeah. So when it comes to the so when it comes to the character so when it comes to the character creation of uh, the PSX Bloodborne remake, there's not a whole lot you can do, sadly. Like there's not a whole lot of like customization and stuff like that. So it's it's sort of limited, sadly. Like I like I couldn't build I probably couldn't build to really make uh, many characters that I would want to make. Uh, if I had like the original Bloodborne game itself, but 
I think probably we you know, we just might start off kind of just normal-ish or whatever and just, maybe, maybe down the road we'll, uh, we'll see how things go. <laughs> yeah, pretty much got two voices to choose from. Got a male and a female, a female and a male. Um, can't really be able to do much of like, you know, changing the gender and stuff like that, so... That's the that's the thing, and we got about like fucking three types of hairstyles. Got like the got like the default look, I guess. You know, short hair, got hair and a ponytail, and we got pretty much the long, got pretty much the long head of hair. <laughs> so. Now, I don't really, I didn't really have any idea as to like what kind of character I would make for this, for this like first playthrough. But I had, but something did kind of pop in my head at random. Um, this idea for a character basically comes from uh, another person's OC type of thing, I guess. Um, but I thought. I thought that like maybe for this first playthrough, I might try and do like a thing where I make Unbreakable. Now, for those of you that are wondering, Unbreakable is a like a I, th I think he's like a I think he's like a, kind of like a Splatoon looking OC thing uh, created by the Inverted Shadow um, and stuff like that. And I I didn't I didn't know why. Um, but I guess, like, maybe it's because of this hairstyle right here. I mean, even though, like, Unbreakable or Breaky, because I'm going to be calling them Breaky in this game. But, like, when it comes to, the, like, the, the choices of the hairstyle and whatnot, or hair type. I was thinking about, like, either going with this or going with this. Because Unbreakable is pretty much known to have, like, white hair... Um, and it's known to be kind of short, technically. I would say, like, it's kind of like, I, I want to say, like, it's, like, uh, what do you call it? Like a, like a bowl, hair, hair, kind of haircut thing. But, yeah. <coughs> the, also, and the other reason I kind of wanted to try and make Unbreakable is because of the eyes. I'll, uh, I'll show you guys right here. So... In this D-Make, um, you can't really be able to do anything with the eyes. You can't give them like any kind of eye coloring or whatever. But the face, but like the face and like the the blackness around the eyes and stuff like that, it made me think of it made me think of um, it made me think of the um, I don't know if you want to call it like a mask or something like that, but like he's got like he's, but he's kind of gonna have like 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 black circle things around his eyes almost kind of like uh like a mask of some sort even though even though it's kind of like a small one but it's just that's just kind of what came to my mind so you know that was the thing and we're not we're not gonna make a mold because unbreakable is not really old looking you know he, he looks young so and he doesn't and he doesn't really wear like a like a mask either so that's gonna be another thing. So, I tried. I tried to see if I can. If I, I tried to see if I can fit Unbreakable into this thing, but sadly, it doesn't fully fit. So I'm gonna kind of call him uh, by a little nickname that he's been given. That, that he's been given, and we're gonna call him Breaky. So, you know, yeah, that's a, that's a thing. I call him Breaky the Unbreakable. Let's see, if, let's see what it's like when everything's out. Uh, 
There's a little preview of what the hat, what he looks like with the hat. So, body so the cut so the cut the whole customized body type. There's not again. There's not really a whole lot to work with here. Um, you can pretty much go from like either having everything be all ones or all tens. So, I think probably like for this first, I think so. I think probably for like Unbreakable, um, we're gonna just kind of just leave them at, at uh, all fives. So yeah. So now that we technically got the character in play in a way, or character creation out of the way, now we have the character origin. Now in this game, there's pretty much like a whole, that's like a, there's quite a lot to choose from. You got the uh, medic toast, ordinary happy upbringing, all averages, all av all attributes. Or average. A lone survivor. Lone survivor of lost Hamlet. High life essence and vigor. Got troubled childhood. Suffered misfortune in youth. Highly resilient as a result. Got a violent past. Terribly violent past. Rash but stronger for it. Got professional. Born, spe born specialist. Fit for sleuthing or academia military vet experience in war or soldier with strength and skill got noble got noble scion scion was to be a respectable line with your faith and your pedigree cruel fate terrible face terrible hardships but now confident in your purpose and then you got waste of skin you are nothing talentless you shouldn't have been born so that's all that. Now, before I, now before I started now before I started uh, streaming it before I started streaming everything, I had gotten a request. I had gotten a request from uh, a, a, a certain individual who pretty much plays Bloodborne a lot, especially on his Twitch channel and everything. Basically, I got I got a request from Mike's Gaming Machine. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Apparently, he wants me to do my first playthrough. He, he probably he wants me to do my uh, first build thing with a, as a violent past. I think um, I think he was talking about like having like a uh, like the like the strength being uh, being around like 15 or so. So I suppose you know we'll honor thy request because I didn't really know exactly as to what class. Well, I, I didn't really know like what kind of character origin to start with, and now that I think about it, it's like I can kind of see Breaky or Unbreakable kind of having that little, um, having that little kind of thing. Now, before I start, I just kind of wanted to just, I just kind of wanted to get this out of the way. Um, I know, I know, probably the inverted shadows that are going to watch this. You know, it's probably never going to get... It's probably never going to watch this. probably isn't even going to know it's going to be a thing, whatever. But if he somehow watches this in some sort of way, I just wanted to say, you know, like, I... You know, this is just, this is just for fun. You know, this is just a little something that just kind of came to me at random. You know, and all that. Because I didn't know exactly as to what kind of character to name What kind of character to make. What kind of character... What kind of name to give the character, especially to fit, you know, like the, um, especially like, you know, to fit the game, the remake, and all that stuff, so, I tried to go with Unbreakable, but I had, pretty much had just ended up going, I'm going up with Breaky, so, Shads, if you're watching somehow, I hope you don't mind, I, I actually can say this may be like a little tribute to you or something like that, I don't, you know, take it as you will, but, yeah, I just wanted just to, I just wanted to randomly get it out there. So, start with this character. Yes. Good. All signed and sealed. 
Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. <laughs> <laughs> Quit looking at us like that in your demanked face. for dinner or whatever but he got set in a blaze then there comes these little what you call it's a glass on the bitches A hunter. All right, your sister's clinic. All right, I'm just kind of just, you know, getting getting a feel for how uh, how the game is on stream. <laughs> so, yeah, apparently, apparently in this game. D-pad is the way to navigate uh, your player and everything. I was kind of expecting like the control stick or whatnot, but I guess the you know, kind of is actually cool. I could like kind of like actually go with the uh, the actual P you know PS1 stuff. You know, because it's been it's been such a long ass time since I last played like the actual PlayStation and whatnot. Alright. First things first. Kinda wanna get rid of the uh the the hood the hood thing. Cause Unbreakable doesn't really wear you know like any headwear for the for the most part. Handwritten scrawl, seek pale blood trust in the hunt. Now I will say now now I will say that I did play this game just just a little bit. Mainly I've been I, mainly the only the farthest I've gotten was actually getting getting out of this area, not not the starting area, but like this, but like the out the black like actual outside area, you know. So so pretty much for so pretty much the majority of this game is going to be a blind playthrough. I do, pro I do expect, I do more or less expect to probably die a lot, so we're just gonna just have to see what happens. <laughs> R1 to attack with the right hand weapon, and then there's L1 to attack with the left. <laughs> X is to lock on slash release target. Locked by the first floor clinic key. I know where that's at. <laughs> L2 and R2 to rotate the camera. So yeah. I remember the first time whenever I actually managed to get this game set up and everything. Um... I actually died by that by the beast. Cause apparently there are some little differences here and there between like 
uh, the main Bloodborne game and the, and the D-Mank. That is locked completely. <laughs> Square plus movement equals walk. Attain the first floor or clinic key. <laughs> and then we get a little message to talk about how to equip it. So, quick items. I'm gonna put the Hunter's Mark thing in my third slot for right now because I feel like I probably ain't gonna need, really need it. Put that in the first, first slot. And slag pretty much allows you to cycle through your inventory. <laughs> and there's the thing showing you that. Two blood vials. Transfuser, Hunter tool that trades health for bullets. Hunter can deploy it. This tool during the hunt to transfuse their own blood to equip firearms. Where it solidifies into blood bullets. The, the product of a hunter's fearless resolve. I kinda re I, I think I kinda remember this um, in the in the game, and like in the main game. Like I think like what it does is that it takes a little bit of your health away, but you get about like I think like maybe five bullets to use. Alright. Pop a heal. You know what? You know it's You know you want to. You got. You guys want to know something funny? Um, not not too long before I started getting ready to uh, split up my stream and everything, I actually uh, played this part right here. And I got to where like you know the dog, the the beast was like right there and everything. I actually managed to kill it with my bear with my hands.
I'm trying to be a little bit careful because I could technically, you know, be able to try and kill him. And I believe that he drops uh, some blood vials. So yeah, managed to kill him once again. He, get, he did get a hit on me, but I managed to get him in the end. So... So now I got six blood vials. Yeah, it seems everything's playing nicely so far. Alright, let's go outside. Not loading. So we got out of here. So we got out of the main uh, building. So yeah, I'm probably, it's probably going to be like one of those, so, so when it comes to this first playthrough, it's probably going to be like one of those little slow and steady type of things, because, you know, like I do want to try, like, try and take everything in, but also at the same time, you know, like I want to, um, you know, like make sure everything goes good, because I want to say like, besides this being like my first playthrough and everything, this is going to be kind of like testing the waters of, uh, of this game. Especially like, you know, to see how everything plays out on stream. You know, from like, uh, from like all the enemies that I encounter, all the, all everything else. You guys, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. <laughs> attack, L1 is to attack with left hand weapon. Fire on, she's picks up a bullets. 
And speaking of the bullets, I got two of them. Vitality goes with the plus one coming. I had I I was wondering like what the fuck was that? Vitality plus one, common common yarn on cap, well worn and losing its shape. Clothing warm worn upon the wait upon awakening to the nightmare of blood and beast. Perhaps this wearer has to stay out of its sight. I travel by a cover of darkness without memory who will ever who will ever know. I Meaning I guess I'll I guess I'll have Breaky wear this hat for right now. go two ways apparently. I can either go to the left or I can go to the right. If I had some people up here in the chat I probably would say like hey Chad what which one should I do first? Go left or go right? <laughs> Should go back. Well, I'm essentially on him now. You are not wanted here. I don't have one right now. Pretty much it's that's it's not but me and my 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 fist. Yeah, I, I, uh, I don't know if you, I don't know if you were here for when I did it, but I uh, took, I took on the beast in, uh, in that, in that one, in that one area. Kill him with, uh, kill him with my hands, bruh. <coughs> yeah, basically, I just, basically, I just, this is about as far as I got right now. You know, just open up this gate and everything. <sighs> what if I 
how you want a weapon. Well, that's a fair point. You think I should do it? You think I should do it now, or... I mean, I, I know the whole situation about, like, you know, dying and go to the Hunter's Dream and all that jazz. Is there really nothing else here? Transports you back to the other dream. Upon death, you will awaken on this land. Whoa, 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 whoa. Save. <coughs> Breaky level 10. Even in PSX style, that, they, that, that those things are freaky looking. <laughs> well, if if thou insist. At least I can say that I didn't die in the, in, in the opening in the opening of this game. <laughs> you gotta you gotta keep in mind, Onyx. Like I'm, like I was getting I was I'm I'm, I'm you know like getting used to this whole thing, and also you know just to make sure everything. Everything plays out nicely, you know. This is nice, I gotta say. Ooga booga. Now I know I gotta talk to the doll. That's kinda what this. <laughs> After taking damage from an enemy, there is a period of time in which attacking the enemy will return. The return will restore your health. Yes. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> and I will, I will, I will definitely agree to that. Like, I, like I knew I wasn't gonna be able to do much with it. Like, I mean, yeah, I probably would say like I got lucky with that beast, you know, like in the burning <laughs> area, but. I want an extra staggered enemy. Attack. That's pretty much that. 
<laughs> you can fire them when you run up to the stagger and enemy. Probably a time. Right <laughs> Some weapons don't have charge attacks. <laughs> you can enemy from behind with charge attack. How's them to stagger? <laughs> Hold R1 for a charge attack, hold, par partially hold it for a strong attack. <laughs> X is while manually aiming, cat's lane. <laughs> And you love me for it, and you and you damn well know that. <laughs> I nearly ain't <laughs> Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold to run and tap the dog. Hello, and bad and dull. <coughs> Messages off for your check weapon. Would be something. All right, so if I remember correctly, I think in your in your little request, you wanted me to use the saw cleaver. Because apparently, I have a choice between saw cleaver and threaded cane. Ninety physical attack. Seventy-eight, not bad either. Saw cleaver. <laughs> Messages off. Messages off you a firearm. She's one. <laughs> ah, yes, the blunderbuss and the pistol. Well, I think probably for this one, I might go hunter pistol. It's the doll again. <coughs> Wake up from above ground. So try to it is, I guess. Lit up window. 
Okay. Oh, you must be a hunter. And not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. I will. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to, but I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. Okay, so we got, new, I got, we got ourselves the gate opened. joke now Gilbert wishes he was me Not too bad, honestly. Like I haven't really, ha I haven't really had like any anything major, like majorly happen, like you know, like bad bag or slowdowns or anything. So it's it's pretty good. You got the wood here. I was talking about like at the begin, like at the beginning of the, of the stream, like I was saying, like I w I'm, I'm hoping and praying that everything you know plays nicely with it. So I'm just gonna say this in advance once again. And this is, you know, this goes for you, Onyx, and also to everyone else watching. Forgive me if I don't get like you know straight to the nitty gritty. This, you know, because this is my first time ever playing Bloodborne in some sort of way. I'm just kind of just, I'm just kind of just taking this all over, you know, just kind of exploring a little bit as much as I can. You know what I'm saying? So just please understand and just please forgive me overall for everyone. I 
that's why I'm that's definitely what I'm doing. I'll mess up your brush! Help me! Oh god! Do the analog sticks actually work for the D-Man? Because I tried everything and it's like, doesn't really do, doesn't seem to really do much. I mean, I know, I know, I know, like, apparently if you push X, um, it seems to, like, lock on to it. It's like you, stranger. Okay, so for an okay, so for an Xbox controller, apparently it's the A button to kind of like lock on. I know this is. I know we're only about like an hour in, but I'm definitely enjoying this. I'm, I'm looking at lot. Like I'm glad. Like I'm. I'm really glad that you know. Like for one, I I now have a way to technically play Bloodborne in some sort of way. And two, that it actually, you know, like, it 
it's it's you know, I, I'm glad that I'm actually ha having having a way to play Bloodborne, especially like on the channel, and also knowing the fact that it actually you know plays plays good with my. Uh, <laughs> Bitch. This is a damn curse. Oh, sure, you a damn curse, bitch. If you get it over to me. We'll not be the That's a whole lot of grace of the tombstones. I can't go up. At least not yet. Locked. Oh! It's still your fault! Yeah, the high grade and rat! Ladies and gentlemen, twelve blood vials, nine Molotov cocktails. Okay, maybe that was the th maybe that's with like another pass. I can go to that one area. Yeah, we're probably we're probably gonna go for about like the new, the normal two hours uh, for tonight's stream. I don't know how much I'm gonna get done, but if everything goes well, um, I'll definitely try and think of a think of a day of coming back and doing more of this. Not open from this side. Stuff and things. You, Who the hell is talking? We all know who's at fault. We know precisely who it is. You know precisely who it is, huh? It's spooky! Damn it! I think probably the one thing I'm gonna have to get used to is having to use like the R L2 and R2 buttons to uh to, you know to turn the camera. Especially if it's Hello. We'll know who's at fault. 
for you. If you know precisely who it is, then why don't you just spill beans? Yeah, you'll live. I got to make some insight. So that's what that was. Probably taking me back, but I'm just I'm just wanting to confirm. Okay. Barbecue Crow, anyone? Bloodstone Shard? Ew, it was Sound glitch there. I don't know why, but I, I, for like a brief moment, I had like uh, I had a sound glitch. Like everything just went. Gentlemen. Looks 
silver bullets and the Montreal cocktail. Yeah, I can jump over. I can jump over the thing. Uh oh. Okay, note to self, do not jump over the fence. Cause you will fucking get so locked. <laughs> My bad everyone. I know not better for what I have done. I did, I did not know that I was gonna fucking soft lock myself like that. <laughs> Sorry. You got you got you got a lot of the random moments like that where it's like you think you think you can do something and then all of a sudden it's like you you pretty much get fucked. I can both to fight these guys again. Well, what can I say? I guess I never learn sometimes, but in this case, it's the first time. It's the first time for me, so I gotta learn. I gotta learn to do the don't somehow. You know what I'm saying?
See, I don't know if I'm going to be fighting any bo a whole lot of bosses in this stream tonight. But we'll see, but again, we'll see what happens. I mean, I guess you could say this is like, you know, the, the exploration uh, debut. Oh, that thing so tantalizing. Same for you too, motherfucker. Get one inside, so one inside is not me. Oh, right under here. Sorry, I was adjusting my headset a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Damn curse, yada yada. Give shits, I do not. This area is there is still open though. I actually managed to do something.
fucking know. It's not. Ah! Is that finished? You didn't like it now, didn't you, bitch? We'll know it's in the vault. We know precisely who it is. You! Oh my ah! God! Oh, you're you're Good hunter, I am a doll, here in this dream to look after you. Honorable hunter, pursue the echoes of blood, and I will channel them into your strength. You will hunt beasts, and I will be here for you, to embolden your sickly spirit. The hunter long ago. Now, now serves only to advise them. He is obscure, unseen in the dreaming world. Still, he stays here in this dream. Such is his purpose. Okay. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Thank you. At least this place has opened up. And I guess it makes sense for it to do that. You must be the new hunter. Welcome to the hunter's dream. This will be your home. For now, I am... German. Friend to you hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know, it's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. This is what's the same haven for hunters. Workshop for hunters use blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find. Even the doll, should it please you. Hey, Tick! Good to see ya! Welcome to, uh, welcome to my debut, welcome to my stream of Bloodborne uh, PSX Edition. Hope we're doing well, hope we're doing well tonight. And hopefully, hopefully your stream went well. And thank you for becoming a fellow Rumble Maniac to the channel. Hope you enjoy your stay in the show today. No problem. I mean, I saw, like, like, like I like I mentioned in uh, in, in your in your in your chat, like I saw I, I was about to. Make it do. All right, well, feel free to lurk away and do any bacon and all that stuff. And again, I do appreciate the appreciate the follow. 
Yeah, I was, I was going to say before, uh, before that, but basically, you know, just, uh, you know, I, I, I was about to, you know, promote, promote my, my, my stream and Pagan's Discord and all that, and I saw that you were the latest one, and so I figured, you know, I'd stop by and say hi. <laughs> Welcome, what is... That, that little sound at the end. Make me think of like the Nintendo Switch. Farewell, good may you f <sighs> Alright. So we got about like 30 plus minutes or so left before the usual two hour mark, so... We're gonna do a little, we're gonna do some more exploring all that jazz and century arm and see what we can do, what we can do and find. my exp exploration so this isn't boring anyone I'm like I know I haven't fought any beasts especially like the cleric beast or whatever but I'm just you know it's a guy playing a thing for the first time seen it oh so many God. times I've never experienced yeah. it myself <laughs> How did I get stuck in the on that place in other places? <sighs> okay game. That's how you want if that's how you wanna be.
This death is probably going to take some getting used to. To be honest, I was not expecting that to fucking come follow me up there. Nope. I'm still, I, I'm, st I'm still liking, you know, the game, even, even if it happens. Like I, like I knew going into this game, I was probably gonna have, I probably have a handful of them. I don't want it here! <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Same thing can be said about you. Oh my god, you're brave! 
I do believe that is a one bolt. Payback, you bitch. Everything looks so fucking cool in this in this. thing is like it's something I've had for a long time I can't remember what it was but I have had it checked out before no
I'll be I'll be fine though. Oh, is this that ladder? I remember, big buttons down below, or my tar or my uh, things for turning the cameras. Yeah, I think probably for the uh, there's probably gonna be like for certain situations where I can't get out of it, out of places or something. But I know what you mean. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I that's what I know. This is a damn curse!
This is a damned curse! I don't know why they had a random ass jump there. Hello. I gotta say that 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 kind of surprised me, but not in like the like holy shit kind of way. If that makes any sense. This must be the way, this must be the other area that I couldn't really get to from the other side. So that's what it feels like to do that. Thank you. First time I actually managed to pull one of those things off in this in this game so far.
Alright. And I do apologize for that, but like, I, d I don't know. <laughs> yes, I know, I know, I'm aware. If that, this is going to have to take some getting used to, especially like, no one where enemies are, and no one will like, write buttons and everything. Welcome home. Farewell, good may you find. <sighs> okay. do one more save and then I'm gonna call it for the for the night stream. I apologize we didn't find any like bosses or anything like that. Welcome what Yeah. <sighs> Alright so I know again I didn't like fight any big bosses, especially like cleric boost or whatever but this is pretty much like the debut episode, me just, you know, like, exploring the game and getting used to, like, the world and stuff like that. And I, w and I will say this. Despite the fact that I've died quite a few times and can't really, can't seem to keep my souls intact, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking this game quite a bit. You know, I want to try and, you know, make this a thing on the channel. I may try and do some stuff off stream, but I don't know for sure. I haven't really... I haven't, really, I haven't really thought that far ahead yet, but but for right now though, like you know, we we managed to explore a little bit. We got some areas opened, and we got used to like the controls and you know things like and like that. So I'm I'm content with you know uh, this being like for part one. And hopefully everyone that and hopefully everyone that has enjoyed. Um, but I just want to say to everyone, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Especially you know you Onyx. Um, hopefully you haven't. Hopefully you haven't played my uh, my debut of this game and everything. You know, and I do appreciate you know the advice and everything and stuff that you've been that you have given me. So yeah, and also thank you to uh, to Tick as well for the follow. You know, hopefully I will see you around in the future in future streams. <coughs> but yeah. So I'm going to do my schedule in my outro and then we're going to try and raid someone. So for those of you who are in the chat, please stay tuned so that way you can go show some love to someone on Twitch. I might have an idea, but it's hard to say not no one. So, because this was a successful part one debut stream of Bloodborne PSX, 
Um, my next stream is going to be on Wednesday as part of my slow streaming week. And on Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to be dedicating it to the finale of Wolfenstein 3D with the Big Wolf 3D mod. Um, on Wednesday, we're going to be doing episode 5. And I have fun with that. And then, uh, after that, <coughs> um, if everything goes well, after that, uh, if everything goes well for Wednesday, then Thursday will be episode 6 of, uh, Wolf, uh, Big Wolf 3D. So, hopefully, hopefully we can be able to close off Big Wolf 3D and all that good stuff. <coughs> so, yeah. But, um, until the next, but until that time, though, if you enjoyed what you saw today and watch this on Twitch, feel free to give the channel a follow and become a Rumble Maniac today. If you want to help me out just a little bit more, feel free to spread my channel around and help get the word out that I'm trying to reach affiliate. Um, if you want to check me out anywhere else, you can follow my Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, pretty much, I think that's short and sweet. But, um, I'm going to end my stream and go on Twitch to see what we can go to raid. So, until I see everyone in the next video or live stream, take care, everybody.